In this video, I'm going to show you how I redesigned this website to make it look like this. All right, so let me walk you through the process. Now, the uh, theme that we use to design this website is called Divi. It makes things very easy to design and it also makes the layout and workflow much, much simpler. So let's take a look at this website. So we can see straight away there's a lot going on here. There's a lot of text and the content is not structured properly. So what we went out and did is we uh, focused first on the header. So on the new site, you can see now we have a clean header. We've got a lot of white space. And also here right at the top, we have the phone number and the email. Whereas here, it's quite cluttered. And then what we've done as well here is uh, instead of having this slider, which doesn't say much, we've changed that into a video, which explains a bit more about what the website does. And then on the right here, we also have a newsletter sign up. Now in Divi, all we had to do is to create a section, give it a background color and uh, divided the, I mean, the, uh, the sections into two thirds and one third. So it's two thirds video, one third this sign up letter. And then all we had to do was to add the code for the video. That's how simple it was. Okay, so moving on. If we scroll down here, you can see that we have a lot of this text, which nowadays a lot of people don't read anyway. So uh, we simplified that to um, make it more cleaner. In fact, in this case, the client wanted to have a shop and uh, the shop needed to have a condition where you have to sign in to be able to view the product. This is why we had this section here. And again, if we look at the, uh, the type of font we chose, you can see this is very clean, unlike here where we have all sorts of um, sizes and colors. So here we created a testimonial section, which has two columns and a background image. So this image was created in Photoshop and we just added a green tint onto it to match the branding of the website. Okay, and then finally, here we have the accreditation. Again, it's clear, you have a lot of white space. And then if you take a look at the footer, it's nice, it's clean. It also gives you very clear links to which pages you need to link to. And then if we compare that to here, I mean, it's not too bad to be honest, but uh, if you look at the color and the layout, this is much cleaner. Okay, so uh, obviously I'm, I'm not going to go through all the pages. I'll just show you the main key pages and just show you how Divi made it very, very easy for us. Okay, so let's take a look at the inside pages. So if I go here to, I'll just pick uh, about Jenny. So what we've done throughout the site is we've made the page titles very clear uh, behind a green background. So here we've also used two thirds and one third column. So the uh, one third we've added the image and then on the two thirds we've got the text. So this breaks up the text in a very nice and easy way to read because we have a lot of white space around and it's easy on the eye. Okay, so uh, let's look at the uh, contact page. So we've added a form. And then if you scroll down here, we've easily added the address and also the maps. So let's take a look at the contact page here. So you can see here, <laughs> there's a lot going on. There's all these big images which are really unnecessary on the contact page because really when people go to the contact page, they need to contact the company. So it's unnecessary to have all that. And anyway, they don't link to anything. So when you scroll down here, again, the form doesn't really look nice because it has um, a lot going on. You can see this red in the background and a lot of text. All the, all the visitor wants to do is to add your name, email, which is exactly what we've got here. You know, you get to the page, you enter your name, your email, your phone number, your message, and then click submit. There's no need for all of this. So we've simplified this and Divi makes it very easy to implement these changes. So this is it. This is how we redesigned the uh, Meadow Aesthetics website using Divi. If you have any websites that you've also updated, please uh, leave them in the comments below. I'd like to see what you've done as well. So thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.